Winner Winner Chicken Dinner is often heard on diners, drive-ins, and dives. A fun Food Network show featuring Guy Fieri. Fieri's flair for one-liners and his love for food and cooking make him the perfect host. He drives across America visiting small restaurants known locally for good food and introduces them to a nationwide audience. His personality, wit, and plain old exuberance makes the food look delicious. Even if I've just eaten, I get hungry for whatever food he features. Well, eating is a subject for today's Sensual Service Saturday Post because it was often associated with sacrifice and worship and joyous festival atmospheres in the Old Testament. Previously, we looked at the three feasts, Passover, Pentecost, and Tabernacles, when Israel went to Jerusalem to worship, Deuteronomy 16, verse 16. Two of those, Pentecost and Tabernacles, were explicitly joyous events associated with God's bounty. They were to be generous and let everyone rejoice in a celebration of the harvest. Deuteronomy 16, verses 9 through 15. It was Guy Fieri's dream, since they were all about celebrating God's gift of food. Passover had a completely different feel that comes through in the text. There's no reference to rejoicing or celebrating, and it reads as a very sober, solemn event with a lot of don'ts. Eat no leaven, have no leaven, don't eat it at home. It was a meal of affliction to remind them of the cost of their freedom from slavery. Deuteronomy 16, verses 3 through 6. Verse 3 says, You shall not eat unleavened bread with it. Seven days you shall eat it with unleavened bread, the bread of affliction. For you came out of the land of Egypt in haste, so that you may remember all the days of your life, the day when you came out of the land of Egypt. When Jesus instituted his supper on Passover, it was a very serious event. And he took just two elements to be his supper, the Lord's Supper, unleavened bread and grape juice, 1 Corinthians 11, 23-27. Why then do some want to turn the Lord's Supper into a common meal? For 2,000 years, it has been a solemn event following the New Testament pattern. But recently, some have sought to turn it into a sensual service as if it's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Guy Fieri is not host of the Lord's Supper because it's not about the food. It's about the Lord. Something to consider today on Sensual Service Saturday. Well, Morning Minutes in the Bible strives to provide spiritual food on a daily basis. Normally, I would be back tomorrow, but I'm in Florida holding my new granddaughter and won't be back for a week. So, until next time, this is James McClendon hoping you have a great day.